Guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we're gonna be talking about how I went from earning zero dollars to over 100K a year through my wedding company. So I'm right now heading off to Helsinki. It's my fourth wedding in three weeks. Have I been having a lot of fun? Yes. Am I tired? Absolutely. I don't know, when I was younger, I was just crazy. I would be shooting 30, 40 weddings a year, traveling from there and there with very little sleep in between. But it was okay, because I was young. But now I'm 31 and I'm just thinking always, where am I gonna sleep? Which hotel am I gonna rest before the next wedding gig? Because it's tiring, it's a long day, but it is a lot of fun. Before I go into how I made over 100K, I gotta show you off my new bags. This is uh, the Anywhere collection from Pact, and we have four bags. We got the gear hauler, which is hauling my one wheel right now. We got the 50 liter duffel bag, the 25 liter duffel bag, and the five liter sling bag. The guys at Pact have been kind enough to sponsor this episode on the channel. And I'm really excited to talk about this collection because not only has Pact created very high quality travel bags for minimalists like me, but they've as well made sure that in the process of creating great products, they've also taken care of all the people and the world. That means that when they've created these bags, they've made sure that all the people creating the bags have been paid well, they're working in great conditions, and as well, all the materials used are eco-friendly, meaning that Pact is also taking care of the world. And something that I thought was pretty unique and cool about Pact was is that all their collections have been made through crowdfunding, which means that they don't go right away and create 100,000 bags hoping to sell them all, which means that you could have a lot of excess bags. Instead, they do crowdfunding, which means that they're able to make a much more accurate amount of bags for the customers. So thanks guys for, first of all, sending me these bags because they're really epic. And second off, keep doing what you guys are doing. Packed, you're killing it. Not only is this great for carrying the one wheel, but as well, this is great for camping trips, carrying all those odd shaped objects. I'm gonna throw this in the trunk. Oh, fits perfectly into the back of the Kia Rio. All right, we got then the 50 liter duffel bag. I know, overpacked for this trip again. We've got the 25 milliliter or liter bag. And then the sling bag. I actually might end up using this sling bag on the wedding gig. I thought this might be the perfect little side sling bag to throw, you know, batteries and memory cards and maybe a lens or two so I can just swing this over my bag and uh, I've got this little handy side bag. I know that uh, Pact wasn't creating this for wedding photographers in mind, but this is super handy, guys. <laughs> If you guys are interested in investing in a new travel bag set adventure kit, I would definitely highly suggest the Anywhere collection from Pact. And you can actually go to the link in my description and you guys can join the crowdfunding. This is gonna be an amazing project with Pact. Okay, it's time to drive off to Tampere where I'm gonna pick up one of our wedding videographers, Jesse, who you've seen on the channel before. And then we're gonna drive off to Helsinki, enjoy a little night together at the hotel, sauna, swimming. And then tomorrow, it's off to shoot a wedding gig. 2 p.m., it's lunchtime. We're gonna try this local pizzeria. Never tried it before, but let's hope it's good. All right, so while we wait for the food to arrive, I thought we could talk about how I grew my company from earning zero dollars to over $100,000 a year. And as entrepreneurs, our time is limited. There's only so much time in a week, in a day for us to work, and even more when you're a wedding photographer or videographer. There's only a certain amount of weekends or weekday weddings that you can shoot at in order to make money. So in order for you to make more money as a wedding photographer or videographer, there's two routes you can go. You can either A, raise your prices, or B, expand your team. The first strategy is to simply raise your prices. Since you can only shoot a limited amount of weekends shooting weddings, in order to make more money, you just gotta charge more money. 
For example, if you were to shoot 30 weddings at $2,000 a piece, that's only gonna make you $60,000, but if you shot only 25 weddings at $4,000, that's already gonna make you $100,000. Now for Maddie and I at Heart Visuals, we quite quickly raised our prices to about the $5,000 mark, meaning that we didn't have to shoot too many weddings in order to make $100,000. And we were quite comfortable charging this amount because we felt like the product that we are offering the wedding market was really high quality and people were willing to pay that price for it. Now there are pros and cons to this strategy, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Strategy number two is expand your team. Since you have only a limited amount of weekends and time is limited, in order to make more money, you're gonna have to expand your team, meaning instead of just you going out and shooting weddings, all of a sudden you could have one, two, three, four, five, as many as you really want, wedding photographers and videographers going out and shooting weddings for your company. And this way, you can still charge less, but just shoot more and make more money. Really, in a matter of no time, your company will be making hundreds of thousands of dollars with all your teams out shooting weddings each weekend. But this route too has pros and cons. Oh, pizza arrived. It's like a Mexicana. Let me eat my pizza first, and then we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of strategy one, raising your prices, or two, expanding your team. Do just what you want. That pizza was delicious. I was glad that I tried out this random new place that I've never tried out before. I'm the kind of person that I'm always a little bit hesitant to try new restaurants because uh, I just like to stick to what I'm comfortable with, but glad I chose this place. We got about 30, 45 minutes before. We gotta pick up Yesa, so I thought why not pitch the hammock up over there on the trees and we can talk about the pros and cons of these strategies. You're the one I trust. I've started to bring this hammock around everywhere with me because you never know when you have some time to kill and it's just so easy to put up and just chill here. But um, pros and cons of strategy one, raising your prices, and strategy two, expanding your team. Well, when it comes to raising your prices, the pros are that you can shoot less weddings for more money. And at the same time, you can keep the same quality. And what I mean by this is that you can create all the photos and all the videos yourself, not having to rely on other people, meaning your quality will stay the same. The cons of this strategy is, is that in the beginning it's pretty scary. It's scary to raise your prices because you're afraid like, what if I just won't book any more gigs? And I think you should do this obviously over time, you know, if you notice that every single year you're, you're booked to the max, raise your prices because there's no fear of not having enough gigs then. but. If you start right away, it's your first year as a wedding photographer, wedding videographer, and you boost your prices, you might not be able to get the clients that you need. So I think most of the cons are in the beginning phase of when you're raising your prices because you're afraid that you're not going to get the clients that you need. The second con is, is that if you charge more money, there is more pressure. You feel like there's, there's a, more of a pressure for you to perform and create a good final product for the couples. So those are the pros and cons of raising your prices. Now the pros and cons of strategy number two, expanding your team. Well, the first pro is, is that because you have a bigger team, all of a sudden you're gonna be able to shoot a lot more weddings each weekend, meaning your company is gonna make a lot more money. And if you manage your company really well and you expand your teams, you can potentially get to the point where you yourself don't even need to shoot weddings anymore if you don't want, or you can just choose to shoot the weddings that only you want to shoot. You know, we all know that there's the really high-end nice weddings, and then there's the weddings that maybe aren't as enjoyable to shoot. So if you do get to that point where your team's so big and it's doing this really well, you have the luxury of choosing whether or not you want to shoot and which weddings you want to shoot. The cons of this strategy is, is that it's a lot more to manage. You know, if you're just shooting on your own, you're only taking care of yourself and making sure that you're doing well, but if you have a whole team, you gotta, you know, work every single weekend and figure out where each team is going and make sure you, they have all the information. And as well, there's just a lot more room for error. If you're uh, expanding your team and trusting on other people, you gotta make sure that they're reliable people. They're gonna show up on time and do a good job and, and that, yeah, you can just count on them. So expanding your team has a lot of opportunity but as well there's a lot of ways where it can go wrong. The second con of expanding your team is that you also should expect for your quality to drop a little. I mean I'm not saying that the quality will drop forever 
but at the beginning stage, the quality will drop because it's not you creating the products anymore. You have a team that's with you and they all have their own styles and, and skill sets. So all of a sudden, the quality might drop when it comes to your wedding photos or your wedding videos. And lastly, if you're gonna expand your team, it can be hard to find good, reliable, experienced shooters who are gonna stick with you for the long run. I found personally for myself and other wedding photographers and videographers, a lot of times when you work for another company, it's one of those stepping stone moments, you know? You wanna uh, maybe make some money or just shoot some weddings to get some experience, but once you've been shooting for maybe a year for another company, usually you wanna go out and just start doing it on your own. So one of the cons of expanding your team is that you're gonna constantly have to be recruiting new photographers, new videographers, uh, you know, teach them how you do business, and that can be a lot of work in the end. So yeah, these are the pros and cons of either raising your prices in order to make over $100,000 a year or expanding your team. Hopefully this helps you guys expand your thinking a little bit or maybe gave you that little push or encouragement to you know, raise your prices or to start expanding your team. Whatever route you wanna go, I really hope for the best and I hope that you guys enjoy this summer shooting weddings because they're a whole lot of fun. All right, I think I need to pack down this hammock and then go pick up Yesse and then head to Helsinki. You're the one that yes, sir. You're alive. Yes. You made it. We made it to Helsinki. Now it's dinner time with Yesse. Then we're gonna go to the hotel, sauna, swim. You know, all the best. Yesse, we made it to the big city. We're so out of our element. <laughs> What did you yeah. say? Don't say I that. hate the city. Don't say that in front of everyone. I hate the city. Okay, you hate I the love city. Saint That's good. I love Saint Nicky as well. It's a nice little small hometown. Yes, sir. Come on. Let's go. And I always be when I need some Cheers, yes, sir. Last wedding gig of the year. <laughs> not for me, but not for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Devoured those tacos. Yes, I gave it eight and a half. I give it nine out of ten. Good to find good tacos here in Helsinki. Yes, sir. Let's go to the sauna. Ooh, yeah. To the hotel. Off we go. Instead of paying 30 euros a night to park at the hotel, find myself some free parking, save some money. It's all about saving those uh, extra dollars here and there. Now it's time to jump on the one wheel, go right to the hotel. Good to be back on the one wheel. It's been a few days. It's always nice to go for a little ride. That's where I'm gonna go sound and swim at the rooftop. Oh, what a way to end the day. Jackie, how's the pool? Side effects, yeah, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I got the views. <laughs> 